the JAMA Network. Hello, I'm Jeffrey Cummings. I'm the Larry and Camille Ruvo Chair for Brain Health and Director of the Cleveland Clinic Lou Ruvo Center for Brain Health in Las Vegas, Nevada. Agitation is a major challenge in Alzheimer's disease. Patients may kick or, or shout or curse and it's very disabling to the care of the patient. Currently, our medications either have substantial side effects or are not known to be effective. None are approved by the FDA for the treatment of agitation in Alzheimer's disease. We observed in the course of studies of suitable bar affect that the drug combination dextromethorphan and quinidine had a substantial effect on agitation in patients who also had suitable bar affect. Based on that set of observations, we decided to study the effect of dextromethorphan and quinidine on agitation in patients with Alzheimer's disease. This study included 220 patients who had a diagnosis of Alzheimer's disease and had substantial agitation as measured by a global agitation rating scale. They were randomized to either drug or to placebo. In this trial, we used the serial parallel comparative design divided into two five-week periods. In the first five weeks, we studied patients on drug or placebo. In the second five weeks, we took patients who did not respond to placebo, that is placebo non-responders, and randomized them to drug or placebo. The serial parallel comparative design is specifically conducted in order to allow us to gain insights into the drug by managing the placebo effect in trials of neuropsychiatric symptoms. The primary outcome of the study showed that we were able to reduce agitation in the treatment group compared to the placebo group. 55% of patients had at least a 50% reduction on the Neuropsychiatric Inventory Agitation Scale Score. 65% of patients had at least a 30% reduction in the Neuropsychiatric Inventory Agitation Score. In both cases, these were statistically significantly greater than observed in the placebo arm of the study. We also studied the effects on the caregivers in the clinical trial. We used the Neuropsychiatric Inventory Caregiver Distress Scale, and we used a Caregiver Strain Scale. In both cases, we saw a statistically significant reduction in caregiver stress or strain in the caregivers of the patients who took care of the treated patients compared to the caregivers of the patients who were caring for the placebo group. We concluded on the basis of this study that dextromethorphan and quinidine are effective in reducing agitation in patients with Alzheimer's disease. The drug was both safe from a cardiac and systemic point of view and well tolerated by the patients. The dextromethorphan quinidine combination is now being advanced into a phase three trial. If we again confirm the results in terms of reducing agitation, it will be presented to the FDA for approval for widespread use.